Hello, friends. This is Alia Jamal, the Love Coach, and I am coming here for another series. This is going to be a 30-day series about your relationship with yourself. Now, today is the day one out of uh, the 30 days that we're going to be together, and they'll be consecutive. Um, the first thing I want to talk about today is the most important relationship. Now, as long as you're human, you're living in a human body, you're living with other human, relationships are the core of our um, existence. No matter where you are, no matter who you are, you do have relationships. And that is where most of our suffering comes from. When someone does not validate you, when someone does not invite you, when they don't talk to you kindly, that is that is where most of our emotional suffering, our internal suffering, our, our traumas, everything comes from there. Right now, we are going through, I believe, uh, Mental Health Awareness Month. And what we don't understand that your mental health is directly tied to the quality of relationship you have with yourself, not other people. So the relationship that you have with yourself is the most important relationship. Now, if I put this question out there, okay, you know, your relationship with yourself is the most important relationships uh, relationship, I know some people are going to say, oh no, it's my relationship with God is the most important relationship and that relationship is so solid. My friend, let me pop your bubble and remind you, if your relationship with yourself is not good, if it's not solid, if you say bad things to yourself in your head, if you call yourself name in your head, your relationship with God is not good. It's not because existence of that divine power is in this vessel. If you are not treating this vessel right, if you're ignoring this vessel, if you're abusing this vessel, you can keep dreaming that you have a good relationship with God, but that is just a lie that you're telling yourself. I know it's a bold statement. Come along with the journey with me for 30 days and you will see what will unpack during these 30 days for you. And this is a path where we have to become very, very honest. If you're not willing to be honest, if you're if you're if you're going within yourself and then you just stop here and you're not willing to go the extra mile, where all the skeletons, all the darkness, and where the real truth is hiding, you won't be able to expand and grow. Then we live superficial lives, then we live superficial confidence then we just you know stay on the surface and you know what happened when we cross 40 we have either anxiety or depression because the being that lives through you is done with the lies that you tell yourself it wants you to live your true authentic self sometimes we call it going through midlife crisis but if we don't know where we want to go where this being want to go we can tend to create a lot of chaos in our life. We can tend to think, you know, I need to cut all these toxic people out of my life. But the truth is, you're toxic to yourself. You've been holding that toxicity within yourself and you never realized. And on the surface, you think you're a super spiritual person or a super religious person or you're a super kind person. But my friend, are you kind to yourself? So now that we have this, we have set the stage for what is about to come over the next 30 days, let's dive into, and I, I, I will do my best to keep these videos as short as possible, bite size, so you can take them, digest them, and come next day for more. Your relationship with yourself is the most important relationship. Now, look at any relationship you're building. Let's say you just, you know, moved into a new neighborhood. You have this amazing neighbor. How are you going to build that relationship? Maybe you'll take a gift for them. Maybe you'll hang out with them. Maybe you'll talk kindly to them. Maybe you'll get to know them. You'll get to know where their family has been, where they are from, what's going on in their life, what are their challenges, what are their gifts, what are their strengths, what are their weaknesses. Like the more you know all these things, the deeper the relationship gets to be. But we all know the most important thing for any relationship is honesty vulnerability, 
if that neighbor is not being honest with you, you'll know. You'll know deep down, you'll know. If they are not being authentic with you, deep down, you'll know. And yeah, then we we kind of lie to ourselves and we stay in those relationships, even though someone is not being honest or authentic with ourselves. Now take the same scenario, bring it inward. Are you authentic with yourself? Do you lie to yourself or you have the courage to be truthful with yourself in terms of what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are? Where you're the one creating chaos within you? Do you have the capacity to own that? Do you spend time with yourself? Do you see yourself? Do you care for yourself? Do you value yourself? Do you validate yourself? Like, you know, this this first conversation, I just want to give you a snapshot of where you are with your relationship with yourself. But you'll be kidding yourself if you think, you know, I, I can I can be really good friends with this person and I don't have to do this work. I'll get married to this amazing person and I don't have to do this work. No matter where you'll go, at the end of the day, you'll keep coming back to your center. No one can make you feel loved. No matter how much that person loves you. They cannot make you feel loved if you don't love yourself. I can receive love from other people only to the depth that I love myself. If I love myself so deeply, I can feel someone else's love so deeply for me and I can receive it because it's tied to an open heart. When I have a good relationship with myself, I can trust myself and my heart would be open to receive all of me and to receive other human beings. So everything that I do in my life depends on the quality of relationship I have with myself. Most of us adults, the way we live, we are running away from ourselves. We don't want to face our or whatever is hiding in the closet. We don't want to face it. So we run away from ourselves. What do we do? We are busy all the time. We go back to school. Now we are doing um, a full-time work and now we have another degree going on because we need to impress other people. We need to impress how many degrees we have, how much money we have, how many labels we can carry. So we are always living outward. We are always living in a way that I need energy from other people because I'm not getting energy from myself. So now I need validation from other people because I'm not getting it from home. The home is within me. The home is not my immediate blood family. The home is within me. When I'm not getting it from there, I'm going to go out and get it from outside. So what end up happening? Now I am hustling in life with a closed heart. And if you want to learn more about heart, you can check out my 10-day series on opening your heart amazing content. You would definitely learn a lot about it. Wherever you're watching it, you're watching on YouTube. It's on my YouTube channel. You're watching on other other uh, uh, outlets or platforms. You can find it on any of my pages, on any of social media. Definitely go ahead and watch that. But coming back to when I don't trust myself, my heart is closed. I cannot receive my love. I cannot receive other people's love. Now, coming back to look at your relationships, all of your relationships. If you're having problem anywhere, if you're having problem with your neighbor, if you're having problem with your spouse, if you're having problem with your ex-spouse, if you're having problem with your parents, if you're having problem with your siblings, no matter which relationship or you're with your kids, no matter which relationship you're struggling in, your relationship with yourself needs work. It's not solid. You think it's pretty good because you're so in love with yourself, because you're doing all the things for self-care, you're taking yourself on vacation and all the things that we do to impress ourselves. The truth is, this is not solid. So that is what we'll be working on for 29 more days 
And I am so excited to share with you how important your relationship with yourself and how to heal it. Sending you all so much love and I'll be back tomorrow. But if right now you are like me and you're like, Alia, I want to learn more right now. I want to work on it right now. You can go to my website, aliajamalcoaching.com. You can book a consultation with me. I would love to be your guide on the journey of transforming your relationship with yourself and making it the one of unconditional self-love. Sending you so much love. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.